Hello everybody, welcome back. Thank you for joining me for yet another video. All right, so a few things to show you, a few things to tell you. Let's start off with my upcoming classes. Um, you guys may or may not know as I have new viewers and new followers all the time. Um, I am teaching, going to be teaching three classes, two in the US, one here in my home studio in London, Ontario, not London, England. I had a few people think I meant London, England. I live in London, Ontario, Canada. I will be teaching classes here in my home studio, uh, April 27th and 28th. I did send out an email blast to everyone who was on my mailing list, letting you guys know the dates, the times, the classes that are being taught, um, you know, pricing and all of that. I've had a few people say, oh, you know, I'm busy that weekend, but I'll come to the next one. This is it. I'm not doing another one. Um, my life is going to get super busy in May. I'm off to Asheville, June. I'm potentially going somewhere else. I'm not sure going to say where yet. Um, July, I'm in Florida. August, I go to Greece. September, I'm going somewhere else. I'm not telling you where yet. So my life is busy. Um, so... That's it. This is the only class I am doing in London, Ontario, here in my home studio. So if you want to attend and come and learn with me in person, this is your only chance this year. Will I do some next year? Yeah, for sure. But this is the only two classes. These are the only two classes I'm going to be doing this year in London, April 27th and 28th. There's two classes on the 27th, two classes on the 28th. Take one, two, three, take all four up to you. Um, you know, so if you want information on my classes, you can email me at canelasiraco at gmail.com. All right. Next class I'm going to be doing is going to be in Asheville, North Carolina. I will be there May 23rd to the 25th. I will be teaching three days, six classes. If you want information on those classes, you can go to www.fluidartexperience.com. And then finally, I'm going to be teaching in Fort Myers, Florida, July 13th and 14th with Kathleen from Cause Creations. We are teaching a two day event, uh, four classes in total. So if you want to come and hang out with Kathleen and I in Florida, um, you can email us at fluidartwithfriendsflorida at gmail.com. Information for all those three events is listed in the description below the video. All right, next thing I wanna mention super quick is I have teamed up with Crystal Resin. You may or may not have remembered uh, me talking about it. They have some new casting resin, brand new product. Okay, so I just got these, man, these suckers are heavy. So new casting resin, okay, brand new. Um, there are two sizes. There's the one liter. This is one. I had to think about that for a second. The one liter kit and then the one gallon kit that I just showed you. So with the one liter kit, you will get some stir sticks and three random pigment colors with that. And then with the one gallon kit, well, how many are in here? One, two, three, four, five, six. You get six random pigment colors and a plastic stir stick, okay? Um, you can save, it's already on sale on the website, but you can save an additional discount using code CANELA15, an extra 15% off. Normally my crystal resin sale and my discount is only 7% off, but this time you are getting 15% off, okay? Using code CANELA15. So the sale is only going to last for 10 days starting today, okay? Now, I wanted to show you guys, I haven't demolded these because I wanted to do it on camera. So last night, I don't know, like eight o'clock or something like that, and now it's, you know, morning, uh, the next day, I poured resin into these molds. Now I didn't color them. I didn't put any pigments into the resin because I really wanted to see how clear this casting resin is. Um, and I just wanted to show you guys, it might take me a while. Let me, I might just have to fast forward you guys until I can demold these little buggers. Oh, never mind. I got Mr. F oh, wow. 
So I wanted to show you guys, like, I mean, you can pour pretty thick into these molds. And like, I mean, it is virtually, oh wow, bubbleless. Look at this. So you cannot use this to top coat your canvases when you're doing, you know, when you're top coating your pieces. That is not what this is for. Oh my God, this sucker is hard. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Look at him. Look at, he's so cool. I got a clear froggy. Look at that. Look, you can see my hand through it. So like, I mean, that turned out perfectly. Now this skull, this should be fun. Uh, let me see if I can unmold this sucker. So while I'm trying to unmold him, yeah, you might wanna head over to the Crystal Resin website. Uh, information and link, ouch, little sharp, in the description below. Oh my goodness gracious, great balls of fire. I can't get this guy out. Okay, so let me tell you my thoughts. This is meant for um, pour up to three quarter inches at a time, okay? So three quarter inches. This is way more, way, way, way more than three quarter inches. I'd say that's about uh, maybe three, four inches. So look at the difference. He's clear, but he's a little foggy. He's a little foggy. He does have some air bubbles back here. So it's not really meant for, like I just, you could pour half, let it cure and then pour the other half and it'll be fine. But I like literally poured right to the top all in one shot. So you can see the difference between them. You know, it's not that. So look how clear this guy is. I can see. <laughs> so there's the clear froggy and then here's the skull. So you can see a little bit of a difference. He is a little foggy. So you can't really pour that thick. Like I mean, Canela, it does say it literally on the bottle. Pour up to three quarter inches at a time. Clearly, I, I didn't care about those instructions because I just wanted to see. I wanted to test it and see. <laughs> I'm not going to take that out of the video and I'm going to leave that blooper in. <laughs> oh my God. Sorry if I scared the bejeebers out of you guys. But see, look, he's rock hard. Nothing happened to him. But anywho, crystal resin sale. Head on over to the website. Save an extra 15% off using code CANELA15. Uh, 10 days only. Okay. Now, let me show you guys some resined results. I know I showed you guys the dried results, but come on, you got to admit once you put resin on these guys, they are amazing. Let me turn my light and get some more light here and see. Yeah, there we go. That's better. So this is now resined. Perfect, perfect top coat of crystal resin. All right. And you can see the shimmer in that. Okay. So this is an eight by 24 inch. Then we have this beauty that is now resined. Let me try and get, there we go. So that is now resined. Look at that shimmer. So pretty once you get the resin on this. So there, that is available for purchase. Eight by 24 inch. And then finally, my piece. Let me find the right orientation. There she is. So this is the dried and resined result of my last video. And this came out perfect with the exception of these two air bubbles that I did not see when I walked away and finished my painting. And by the time I came back and noticed the two air bubbles, the paint had already started drying and it was like a, you know, there was a film. So when I tried to pop the bubbles, um, I was gonna ruin the painting, so I just left it at is, as is. Um, so there are two air bubbles right there and right there, and there's nothing I can do about that. But look at the rest of this, and look at the shimmer. I'm really happy with this. This is my second favorite piece. My first piece is still that plum color. 
with the plums, but oh, if you're a pink lover, this is it. Look at that. So this is on a 14 inch canvas and this is available for purchase if you are interested in this one. All right, so I've told you about my classes. I told you guys about the crystal resin, fumbled with my skull here um, and left that in just so that you guys could laugh. And I told you guys or showed you guys my dried results. So that is it. I'm gonna get myself set up on today's canvas and let's get started to today's painting. Be right back. All right, everybody, let's get started. So today I'm working on a round canvas. Um, so let's, this is like a 15 and a half, almost 16 inch canvas. Uh, I am using Jessica Winterstrom's spinner from Winterstrom Art. Let me tell you guys the colors that I'm using today. A new color I haven't used yet. It's called Sea Salt by Color To Go, Sherwin Williams. All right, let me show you what it looks like here. It's kind of like a super pale green, um, kind of like a light sage maybe, um, maybe like a, that kind of color. So what I did was I filled this cup with 10 ounces of the Sherwin-Williams and five ounces of um, American Floetrol just to kind of make it a little thinner because it's a little too thick straight out of the jug. Okay, and then today's colors, I don't know. I'm telling you guys from now, we'll see how it works out, but I kind of just kind of kind of going with the flow. So here we have um, Black Forest by TLP. Now I thought I had some green mixed up with my, you know, bloom concoction like in Amsterdam paints, but I don't. So I don't have any Amsterdam or anything else. I'm strictly using all TLP today. Um, you know, you should, you know, throw in some other brands like TriArt or Amsterdam or something, you know, um, but I just quite frankly don't have any right now. So I'm going all TLP. This one is called Prenite. I think, I hope I'm pronouncing these right. Uh, so that's that. And then I have Aspen. So here is Aspen. And again, these are all TLP piggies from Fluid Art Co. This one is Mint Chip. And then topping it off, we have one of my faves, Emerald. Okay, so as you can tell, we are doing a green palette today. I've done blues, I've done pinks, plums. Let's do some green for those green lovers out there. All right, uh, let's see. If you want to know how I mix my paints and products and what I use, because it's completely different from my blowouts that I do, um, video 504, I will link it up at the top. Video 504 is a complete tutorial on how I mix my piggies with, you know, oh, cell activator. <laughs> I swear, I don't know why I keep forgetting my cell activator. I'm so not used to it because you don't need it for a blowout. So anywho, as I was saying, how you mix these with Joe Sonia, Bear, all kinds of, you know, products. But, you know, along with my video 504, you could also take Shelly's course. Shelly is the creator of the Bloom Technique. She has a course online that you can pay for. I have a 15% discount code in the description below. And I'm talking about multitude and multitude, uh, you know, amounts of videos that will help you learn that as well. So you can, you know, it would be really beneficial for you to take Shelly's course. Then you get into a private Facebook group as well that has thousands of members in it that are like ridiculously helpful and everyone shares their tips and tricks and stories and trials and errors and all of that. So, you know, it's well worth it. But yeah, video 504. Uh, and then if you want to sign up for Shelly's class or course, the uh, info is in the description below. All right, let me flood this thing and I'll be right back. See 
how fast that is? So much faster than doing my blowouts. All right, I'm just gonna pop the bubbles really quick. When you're working with house paint, try not to torch it too, too much because it's not good. All right, so this should be interesting on a nice round canvas. I keep doing all these square canvases. I had uh, a viewer mention, hey, you should try round canvas. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's a great idea. So that is what I'm doing. All right, so let's start with uh, some black forest smack dab here in the middle. This should be interesting. This definitely has a gold hint to it. So that's why I did not add a contrasting color of my gold, which is usually ore, that color, because I think two of these kind of have a little bit of a gold hue to them. So, all right, next we've got prenite. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. You know, I'll pronounce it the way I want. All right, so um, I've been having so much fun with my laser machine. I cannot wait to show you guys what I'm working on, but you know, with this laser machine, there's a lot of steps and progress and this and that, and a lot of things I have to do before I get to the final finished result. So, you know, I'm working on it. And uh, as soon as I have something completed, uh, I will kind of show you guys what I've been up to. But like, I mean, you may have caught some glimpses on Facebook and Instagram because I post stories there. So you may have seen something there, but oh boy, oh boy, I cannot wait to show you guys the cool things I'm doing. And you know, these things are going to be up for sale and you can customize a piece of your own. I'm not going to tell you quite yet what that is, but you know, there's a lot of things that I can do with this laser machine and I cannot wait to show you guys what I'm doing. All right, someone did ask, hey, are you gonna create a whole new YouTube channel for your laser? No, not gonna happen. I can't even keep up with this one. Uh, I've kind of dropped off the face of the earth with Juno and Echo's YouTube channel. Like I just don't have the time for that. And you know, any videos that I'm gonna do with the laser are gonna be here on this channel, okay? So might as well just keep it all on the same channel. No sense in starting a new one. All right, so I'm gonna just kind of bring this back a little to the center. There we go. Let's add our Payne's Gray by Amsterdam cell activator with our Australian Floetrol and let's go. Okay, so my plan was to do like a flower with like five petals and that didn't work out. So I just kind of ended up blowing everything so that it was pretty even, Steven, you know? Now, my center has a little bit of a black spot. So I'm gonna take my straw and literally just blow a burst of air right into the center. Like that. And then hopefully some cells will come up. Yes, I see something happening there. So let's give that a second and see if I get anything to form. And then if not, I can use my straw and kind of blow the outside cells in a little bit. Very gently. Gently. 
There we go. So that takes care of a lot of the dark in the center. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of tilt it a little bit this way. See that center really is stuck in the center there. All right, I'm gonna put this away because I don't need it anymore. And wish me luck because I'm gonna make a mess. Definitely gonna make a mess. I'm gonna scrape, you know what? I'm gonna scrape that into here. Remember what I told you about saving as much paint as you can. So there's a lot of runoff of the green base color here. So I'm just scraping it back into my cup. There we go. I did save some in the cup so that I can do my edges. These colors are so pretty. All right, let's uh, let's spin it. Oh gosh. Okay. I'm gonna spin it again. Actually, look at look at all the runoff on this side. So I'm going to scrape her up so that A, I can save it, and B, so that it doesn't splatter me on my next spin. So, yeah. Proving to be a little difficult with one hand. Oh, there we go. Yeah, try and save it because like, I mean, this stuff isn't cheap, you know, and if you can save it, then save it. And then whatever I have left in the cup, I just put back in the color to go container, right? Doesn't matter that there's Floetrol in it because I'm always gonna put, mix my base with Floetrol. So, all right, so now I think, because it seems to all be going this way, I'm going to pick this up and bring it over a little off center that way and see if that makes a difference and see if I can get this to move this way. But I'm gonna spin in the same direction. Um, yeah. I just don't wanna get splattered. I don't. Okay. I should move those because I don't want any of that falling into there, but you know. Okay. Oh yeah. Ah, oh, it's working. It's working. Yes, it totally moved the way I wanted it to. Completely. And and this is why I love putting my Loli Veffy um, silicone mat because A, not only does it protect my spinner from getting like really dirty, but it keeps this the canvas from sliding off, right? Kind of acts like a rubber base. Okay, so now I kind of want this to move over. So I'm going to pick her up and I'm going to go this way. And I'm gonna spin it and hopefully I get this to cover a little bit that way. Okay. Oh, I think that's it. I think that's it. Cause I, do, I really wanna keep some negative space. I don't want the whole thing to expand and I also don't want to over spin it because I don't want it to get the cells all wonky. So I'm loving this. Oh, you know, I'm not much of a green fan, but heck, I wasn't a pink fan either, but now I'm a fan. Um, I'm loving all these colors. I love it. I'm gonna try and just bring this into the center. I know you can't really see anything, but I'm just kind of shifting it a little. There we go. Wow, and of course, looking at it from the side view with my studio lights. Wow, the shimmer in this. And my sides are perfectly covered because this is like, it's not a one and a half inch gallery wrapped canvas. So my sides are perfectly covered. Um, yeah, I love it. Oh my gosh.
gosh, it's so perfect. And I love that there's some negative space. Like it kind of went over over here, but that's okay. It could, my orientation for this could go this way. Yep, so I'll show you guys. This is the orientation I'm thinking. So the bottom, you know, kind of went over and then we've got some negative space here and negative space here. That's my orientation. That's what I think. What do you think? Okay, I'm going to clean up and I'm gonna bring you guys in for a close up. I'm so excited. Boy, oh boy, am I really loving this stuff. Like I'm really loving this. I'm having so much fun with this. Yeah, I'll be right back. Alrighty, table cleaned up, everything cleaned up, super simple, nice and breezy, easy breezy. Uh, and here is the final result. So uh, yeah, I'm loving these colors. This is such a beautiful green palette. It is not bright and neon-y. It's very, very kind of like, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know, maybe you know, put it in the comments. <laughs> Look at that, I love the center and that whole big black blob in the center went away. So that's what it looks like with the lights on, but let's check it out with the flash. All right, so the lights are off. You can already see the shimmer. Oh, wow. Like this whole painting is gonna shimmer because I literally used everything was TLP piggies. Look at that. Wow. She's pretty. Oh my gosh, when this dries and gets a top coat of crystal resin, this is going to be stunning just stunning look at that look at all the shimmer in this this is so cool i'm really happy with this piece let's go over here i'm loving that emerald green so pretty and you see that one piggy had kind of like a gold hinge to it so I was right, a little bit of a gold in there, but look at that center shimmer. Look at that shimmer. Okay, okay, okay. And there you have it, everybody. Uh, I'd love to know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Let me know, it is available for purchase. If you are interested, canalaseraco at gmail.com. You can have this hanging in your home if you like. Uh, again, um, London classes here in London, Ontario, Asheville, North Carolina, and Florida, Fort Myers. That information, links, emails, all that in the description below. Uh, crystal resin sale. Save an extra 15% off the new casting resin. You can save using code CANELA15. Uh, the sale is only for 10 days, so get it while they last, okay? Um, yeah, so that's it for me for now. Until next time, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day, have a good night, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.